Ah, hell. Uh, hey, what's up, fellas? It's a date night. I'm getting ready to climb in the shower. I just shaved. Uh, in between that time, I, I took a phone call from a young man I know who was... Uh, He, he thinks he's in trouble, but he's actually not in trouble because he did exactly what I think he should supposed to do. Now, there are a lot of... Look, look, look. There are a lot of people who think that... And this has to do with fighting, so I'll title this something about fighting. Uh, there are a lot of people who watch too many movies where there's some, like, crispy dialogue of gotchas before... Uh, they start fighting. What are you doing? Anyway, she was uh, trying to scratch up the furniture. Uh, BJ. Anyway, uh, you can't get within arm's length of me if I think you're going to do anything. I don't care if you want to have the last word or whatever that is. You better stay in arm's length away. What happened is, as I teach guys, if you're going to get into a fight, you should definitely hit the person first. And... I think um, I don't ever remember in a street fight being a judge there or a official there or a referee there to call timeout or Marcus de Quinsbury rules or let him get up off the ground. That's anyways. This young man hit the other guy first and he he beat him up after that. So they're telling him you know he's arguing with his with his mom about that not being fair. Listen, I, I'm, I'm telling you something. You cannot take advice. I'll make this the video. You cannot take advice about being a man from most women. There are some women who are very based and will tell you what they expect from you as to protect them or to be a man or how you're supposed to act. But nine... Uh, Far too many women have never actually even been in a fight. That is how safe the United States is. Haven't really been in a fight other than maybe like this with a cell phone. Oh, I don't like you. Don't like me. Well, you're ugly. You know, that kind of stuff. But anyways, if you're going to get into a fight, you should hit the person first. If they go to the ground, I'm not talking to, talking about you have to pound them out or anything like beat them to the un, they're unconscious. But you need to get on top of them. Mount them and let them know, hey, are we done? Is this over? And then you help them up, and hopefully that's the end of the end, squash the beef. Um, I just, I, and you know what, I'm, I'm not belittling the, the mother because uh, that's all that boy has. It's him and her. And, um, but, and there aren't enough good men around to help young men out. So I'm, I'm not bagging on anybody or, or like that. I don't want this to, to devolve into that. But I will tell you this. If you're going to fight with somebody or somebody looks like they're even being aggressive, I stick my arm. They don't come any closer to me. I, I don't come any closer to me. And I got a, I got a pretty big hand. Look, You know, do any of you or any of you is your uh, ring finger... My ring finger, is it bigger than your index finger? Uh, evidently, that's abnormal. Uh, that, that, needless, needless to say. Uh, on both of my hands, my ring fingers are, are about an inch, inch and a half longer than my index finger. So back back to the point. There are no rules in a street fight. <laughs> now, if you got somebody out there and it's like this... Um, uh, YouTube channel called Street Beefs. You want to settle a beef like that, and there's somebody there that's going to keep you from getting crushed. I don't have a problem with that at all. But in in things can happen so quickly, you can't afford to hesitate. I I'm always if I think you're going to do me harm, and it may just be a palm strike. I may just smash my palm, this part of my hand, this part of my hand, or this part of my hand. Into the into your face, into your nose, into your mouth, or something like that. I I don't like what, how teeth feel on my knuckles. <laughs> and you can get an if All right, I got off the point. Listen, love you guys. There's nothing wrong with being a man. There's nothing wrong with getting into a fight. There's nothing wrong with you standing up for yourself. 
For God's sakes, don't let people bully you. And you don't have to apologize for winning a fight. <laughs> they, come on. And, and if you don't want to shake hands and it takes you a couple weeks to get around to shaking hands or talking to the guy, that's fine too. Uh, real life is messy. Real life is, is not fun sometimes. And I will tell you one other key before I let you go. Uh, I get scared. I'm 59. I get nervous. I get butterflies. I get all that stuff. But as soon as I realize that it's actually going to be a fight, yeah, then I'm definitely hitting the person first. And you should try to uh, put them down. I'm not talking about hurt them so bad they can't get up. But I'm talking if you sit somebody on their butt in their eyes. One of the things for me is when their eyes get big like that, then you know you've, you've gained their attention. You don't know what's going on in other people's lives. And you don't have to know what's going on in somebody else's life. And for God's sakes, if somebody's trying to hurt you or hit you or, or act like they're, you can't let somebody get in your face and like, hey, man, what are you going to do? Nah. nah. You get arms arms linked away. And warn them once. If you want to, warn them once. But after that, all bets are off. Again, there's nothing wrong with fighting back. I expect you to fight back. You should fight back. Even if you lose, you should fight. All right? Love you guys. I don't mean to come out of left field with that. but And no, I don't run around apologizing to people I got into a fight with just because they can't fight. All right. All right. That's enough. Love you guys. <laughs> Stay safe and healthy. Go take. Uh, I'm going to go take a shower. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourselves. Like a fart in a G-string from fighting West Texas El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.